What's good, guys? This story is coming out of Panama City Beach, Florida. And it happened on Saturday, which was March the 20th, 2021. A shooting happened at Panama City Beach at the Sea Haven Beach Hotel on Front Beach Road about 4.30 p.m. Saturday. When the Panama City Beach police arrived at the scene, they saw one person had been shot. The victim has non-life-threatening injuries and has been taken to a nearby hospital. As of now, the police are not naming any suspects. Lieutenant J.R. Talamendez said they believe this is an isolated incident. Quote, all of the preliminary information indicates that this is an isolated incident and there is no apparent danger to the public, end quote, Talamendez said. He said this is an ongoing investigation, so these are the only details he can release at this time. Now, they have since updated the story. Three arrested in Saturday's Panama City Beach shooting. There's a video, and I'll play that shortly. Three suspects connected to Saturday's shooting at the Sea Haven Beach Hotel have been arrested, police said Sunday. 27-year-old Heather Nicole Slay from Lithia Springs, Georgia. 26-year-old Taharia Anand Ogunti from Atlanta, Georgia. And 27-year-old Marquise Rashad Thompson from Lithia Springs, Georgia are all facing charges stemming from the shooting. That is a picture of all three. According to a news release from Panama City Beach Police, Thompson got in an argument with one of the hotel employees. Thompson then pulled a gun and shot the employee one time in the left arm. Thompson then ran to his hotel room at the Sea Haven Beach Hotel where he grabbed the keys to Slay's car and fled the scene. Ogunti, who traveled to Panama City Beach with Slay and Thompson, was staying in a separate room but had two firearms in her possession. Slay has been charged with giving false information during the investigation and Ogunti is charged with carrying a concealed firearm. Warrants were issued for Thompson charging him with attempted murder after he fled the scene. Thompson was later located in Dothan, Alabama at the Flying J Travel Center on Ross Clark Circle where he was arrested without incident. Thompson was transported to Houston County Jail to await extradition back to Bay County. Ogunti and Slay were transported to, the, transported to the Bay County Jail to await their first appearance. The victim in this case was transported to Ascension Sacred Heart Bay with non-life-threatening injuries. Let's watch the video on this. We start off tonight with new details on the shooting that happened at the Sea Haven Beach Hotel around 4.30 this afternoon. Panama City Beach police are investigating the incident. They say when they arrived at the scene, they saw one person had been shot. The victim has non-life-threatening injuries and has been taken to a nearby hospital. As of now, the police are not naming any suspects, and Lieutenant J.R. Talamentez says they believe this is an isolated incident. All the preliminary information uh, indicates that this is an isolated incident and uh, there is no um, apparent danger to the public. He says this is an ongoing investigation, so these are the only details that they can release at this time. So I wanted to make it bigger so you can see. This is Thompson. He's the one that got into an argument with the hotel employee and shot him in the arm, then fled. This lady is the one that had a separate room, but came down with all of them. And she had two firearms in her possession. And she's the one with the car. That's how they got there. And she's traveling with them. And she gave information uh, wrong to the police. So, I guess these threes won't, won't forget spring break. I can assure you. I'm going to end the video on that note. Thanks for watching, guys.